Hey y'all! With the weather being so beautiful outside, it seemed like the perfect time to do Instant Pot ribs. Hope you'll join me in the kitchen. The first thing I usually do is I rinse my ribs off. And if you want to remove the membrane on that, you can. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to put a trivet in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in here with the meaty side towards the pan. This is one cup of chicken broth. You could also use water or you could use uh, apple juice. But I'm using chicken broth. This is one cup of apple cider vinegar. And I have one cup of my favorite barbecue sauce. But I'm only going to use half of it right now. And I'm going to use the other half when I put it on a... Uh, cookie sheet and broil it for a few minutes after this. And I'm going to put in three tablespoons of liquid smoke. In my opinion, this is one ingredient you don't want to skip because it gives it a really good flavor. Okay. Now I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to set it for 25 minutes. That's real easy, and it cuts the time down so much compared to doing it, you know, cook, slow cooking it overnight or all day. So it's it's amazing. This is amazing. Well, the ribs are cooking. I'm going to turn this oven on broil. It's because I like it to have a crispy, sticky texture flavor when it's done. Um, you can also, instead, you could put it on 400 and... and um, you know, if you want to skip the sticky, crispy kind of thing. Um, but I wouldn't skip this step, guys, because it gives it an extra boost of flavor that's worthwhile. So these ribs have cooked for 25 minutes, and I've allowed them to natural release for 10 minutes. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish it off, and then we're going to put them on this pan and put them into the oven. So I've lined this cookie sheet here with some tin foil for easier cleanup. I'm sure you understand that. Boy, oh, man, those are fall off the bone. So tender. Slather it on there good, guys. Front and back. Mm, that smell is so good. It smells so good. Makes my mouth water. Mm -mm. I think I put away my tongues too soon. You could easily cook more ribs than what I have here, and if you do, you're definitely going to probably want a little more barbecue sauce than I have put here. But I like that these come together so much easier than they used to. With the Instant Pot, it just cuts down on, on a lot of the work, and I'm all about that. So for this step, you only want to leave it in there for about two to three minutes and I would strongly suggest you stay close 
so that you don't burn them. If you guys choose to use the oven at 400, you can bake it for around 10 minutes and that should do you pretty good there. Here we go guys. That's what they look like. Oh, they smell amazing. They smell wonderful. Oh, a little taste test. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Finger looking good.